tiger bite. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Merry Christmas and welcome back to Tiger Bites. Recently I had a great outing at a restaurant called Alfio's in Cincinnati. The food was fantastic. Um, I got their pasta. It was a goat cheese pesto with seafood. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm super inspired to do a garlic alfredo with sweet cherry peppers that are uh, pickled. So I get that sweet and that sour. Um, I also have, of course, the goat cheese, parmesan, basil, I'm going to use shrimp, asparagus, lemon zest, little lemon juice. I got my butter. I got the peppers, of course. I am using um, mozzetta. Smells amazing. I also got nutmeg, salt and pepper. Par parsley and garlic powder, just to case a little bit. Um, I also am making my own pasta today. I'm going to go ahead and use some Molina um, flour. It is Italian flour. And you're going to need water and a smile on that face. Let's get Christmassy with all this red and green. Okay, after a lot of experimenting because their measurements are different than what I'm used to. Um, it is finally happening. Hey! So, here I am. And the pasta is drying out a little. I learned a lot today with that, so I look forward to future pasta making. Um, right now my theme is going for my asparagus. I'm going to go ahead and steam it because I want to keep all the nutrients when I toss it in the pasta. So I'm just going to put it in here, kind of keep it at one layer, and cover it, and bring it down to medium, and time it for about six minutes to start. It might take eight minutes, who knows. Um, I chopped it up into little quarters out of a hole. So. So right now, I'm waiting for my pan to get hot. I'm just going to go ahead and add the butter so I can watch how it melts. And we will carry on. This music is boring. <laughs> Meowza. So I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic. I'm getting excited here. Um, get it all out of there. You want to use every little bit. And I added the garlic, and the butter's only half melted because I want to use some of that when I add my cream. I want it to be kind of on the wet side when I do add my, not cream, my um, goat cheese. Yeah. And I have about, I think it's about 10 ounces. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do it all. Got to always refrigerate some for later. We're going to want to melt this down a little bit before we add more ingredients. I want my garlic to be kind of half cooked because I want it to be garlicky as fuck. Alright, I'm melting everything down. I'm really watching the temperature. I want it between medium to medium low. Um, I still have to have my shrimp cook just a couple seconds longer, which is perfect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the parmesan. It's about a half cup, maybe a little more. And then I'm going to add, let's see here, a little bit of salt. Nothing much. But that We're going to add that in the end to taste. Some cracked pepper. love the taste of cracked pepper and the creamy sauce. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add a squirt of lemon. And then some zest.
and you got to keep mixing this because if you let it sit too long it will burn. So we got that added in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add um, just a little bit of garlic powder, you know, just to be safe. I'm a freak for garlic. And a little bit of nutmeg. And I'm going to go ahead and add my sweet peppers. We're going to let these flavors combine for a minute. And real quick, the asparagus. And I'm going to go ahead and add the liquid with it in there, whatever was in there. I'm not done yet, but we're going to give this a mix before we continue. I'm going to turn this down a lot, and before I do, I'm going to add a little bit of the basil. Give it another mix. So we're going to put this on a very low. Not done with that yet. And I'm going to go ahead and start cooking the pasta. I'm going to turn the heat up a little. And I'm going to very slowly drop the pasta in. And like I was saying, you know, you could let the pasta sit out for a couple hours. I, everyone seems to do it differently. I'm new at this, so it's something that I'm really passionate about that I'd like to learn more of. Make sure you drop it in carefully, break it apart a little. I'm going to add a little olive oil to my water. I'm going to add the rest. So we want this to cook pretty evenly. There we go. Take a fork. This is going to cook for like three minutes. Ow, ow! Add my pasta to the sauce. Are you ready? Are you ready? It is perfectly al dente. We're going to go ahead and give it a beautiful toss. There we go. One more quick toss. Oh yeah, baby. So I'm going to go ahead. Get some color in there. There's some shrimps. We're going to add a little bit more salt to taste, a little parsley. I like to use fresh, but not today, baby, not today. Sprinkle more basil. And last but not least, a little bit more Parmesan on top. And there you have it. This is my, pretty much my goat cheese Alfredo. With sweet peppers and asparagus. Where is my fork? There it is. Let's take a bite. I want to get some of that sweet pepper in there. Step to the side, Alfios. I got you, babe. <laughs> this is amazing. Do exactly what I did. The sauce came out amazing. Just do that sauce. Get a pack of dried fucking pasta or make your own whatever. This came out so good. It is perfect in sweetness, tanginess, um, earthiness. Uh, the goat cheese stands out, but it's not too strong. It is so good. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and give it up for the pasta. Tiger Buzz. Yeah.
Wow. <laughs> <laughs>